Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In today's video, I'm going to explain how we can create payroll flow pattern and what is the payroll flow pattern. So let's start. The payroll pattern combine payroll tasks together with payroll cycle. A payroll task can be manual intervention processes, report, etc. A payroll flow pattern links together a sequence of automatic payroll processes and reporting tasks and manual tasks such as verification tasks. A payroll flow pattern can run as a single automatic task or as a pattern with many tasks, which we can say multiple tasks. There are seeded flow pattern which typically include critical processes like payroll calculation, prepayments and other payroll processes user created flow pattern can be created either from without copy or by copying an already existing flow pattern. The process is like that. First, you have to create the flow pattern. After creating the flow pattern, you have to create the security profile for that. Uh, flow pattern. The security profile control who can access the flow pattern, uh, who can access the flow pattern only he can submit the payroll flow pattern. Like uh, if I create flow pattern, uh, flow, uh, flow pattern for uh, weekly payroll and another one is for monthly payroll. So I give one person weekly payroll pattern for handling and give another payroll flow pattern to other person. Then after the payroll creation of the security profile, then the person who have the access the payroll flow pattern can submit the payroll. And after the submission of the payroll flow pattern, it generate the checklist where we can monitor the flow pattern. So here are some payroll component, flow connectors, stars, star sequence and parameters. Flow connector are used to link flows at the flow pattern level and consolidate flow result for the downstream processing. Tasks are the building blocks for the creation of flows. There are two component to a task action that are to be executed in the task and action parameter, the inputs and output to the task. Next is a payroll flow task. Payroll flow tasks are created when a flow pattern is created from the task. There are two types of flow tasks that a flow pattern would have, start task and a end task. And it has two types of tasks, single task and multiple tasks. In single tasks, you can see here, it has only one task, run gross to net report. And in second one is a multiple task. Multiple tasks ordered in a sequence that correspond to a phase of a typical payroll activity. So here you can see it has a multiple task, like first it is start the task, then calculate payroll, verify payroll result and run gross to net report. And after that, end the task. So next is a payroll flow parameter. Flow parameter are a subset of task action parameter. They supply the information required to successfully complete the task in the flow pattern. Each task in a flow pattern supports task actions such as a submit, rollback, mark for retry and view. Task action parameter controls how the application process a task and how the task relate to other tasks in the flow pattern. There are some aspects of the flow parameter, display and display format. So display determine whether the parameter display on the page when you submit the flow and display format, identify the type of data displayed such as a date or text and lookups and value set used for control and validate the data used in the payroll flow pattern. And sequence indicate the order in which the parameter is available on the UI for you to enter the value. 
Next is the parameter basis and basis value. The parameter basis control how the application drives the value for the parameter. And the basis value further specify the value the application uses for the parameter. So let's move on to the application where I'll show you how to copy the existing payroll flow pattern. And in next tutorial, I'll show you how to create the flow pattern. So let's move on to the application. On the home page, go to my client group and then click on the payroll option and just scroll down and go to the administration option. Under the administration, you have payroll flow pattern. Let's search for the existing one. And then we change and modify it according to our requirement. Click on this. And then click on the added option. Just go to the task here. You have the run deduction report. If for some reason I don't want to run the some uh, run deduction report, so I just click on it and then go to the action button and then delete. Then we have the three tasks now. And if I want to add another one, click on the action button and you can also click on the plus icon. Then search for the task type. Here you can see the task type and search. Like calculate gross earning and then done. You can see here the calculate gross earnings earning is added here. Then go to the next page. Here the sequence of the task is changed when we add the calculate gross earning. So just select first one and then click on the edit option here select the calculate payroll and then calculate gross earning then calculate run gross to net report and after that click on the run validation report and so this is how we or uh, we sequenced our task. So let's go to the parameter. Here, if you want to add parameter according to your need, you can add here and otherwise go to the connected flows option. So here is the calculate payroll. Payroll run is automatically connected. If you want to add any other connect connected flows, you can add just by clicking on the add icon, then click on the submit. So this is how we can create the payroll flow pattern with copy existing payroll flow pattern. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching.